Holy hell, it's a video about my bus. This is going to make some of you guys happy. So, it's been like 100 degrees out all last week. It's actually going to be over 100 degrees next week. And uh, this bare roof of my bus gets really hot. So, we're going to go ahead and get it cleaned up today. Get it scuffed up and put some roof coating on there. Because even with the insulation in the ceiling of my bus, I'm getting heat transfer through there. And it's pretty bad. So before we have like mid 100s next week with it feels like in the 120 area, we're gonna do that. Today's only gonna be like 90, so hopefully we don't die. I was supposed to start this a couple hours ago, but I wanted to sleep in. But we're gonna go get some stuff, get up on a ladder, start scraping and sanding the roof to make sure it's ready to go. We'll get it cleaned up and then we're gonna start rolling a roof coating on this thing. <laughs> Trying to get loose all the bad parts of paint that are flaking off this roof. We don't want that flaking off underneath what we're gonna do. Starting to make some progress on sanding. It is hot up there though. So let's keep working our way down the line until we get all this scuffed up and cleaned. Once everything's sanded pretty good, then we're gonna start washing the roof. It's hot out. You guys are going to have to deal with the fact you're not going to get a lot of video on this particular project. But the roof has been washed and scrubbed with Dawn dish soap. Now I'm working on getting all the soap residue rinsed off the roof. Once that's done, I think it's going to be time to take a break, go inside, cool off, drink some more water. And we'll let this dry with as hot as it is out here. I'm assuming. It's not going to take long for all this to dry, but I just got to get all this soap off here first. Alright, we're going to let that dry for a minute. I'll probably come back out and rinse it one more time. But uh, I think it's time for hydration break because the temperature is getting up there today already. But we should be close. Um, I think one more rinse, we'll let it dry again, and then I think we're ready to start rolling some stuff on the roof. Hoping this helps, because the problem I'm having is my ceiling is insulated, but I'm still getting a lot of heat transfer. I don't have a ton of insulation where the ribs are up the roof there. And it was like 98 the other day, and my ceiling was 80-something degrees and just radiating heat. It's perfectly fine temperature-wise if you're down sitting in a chair or something. When you stand up, you can feel it. So... I'm guessing that uh, the mostly bare metal roof definitely isn't helping that situation. So, I said we'll let this dry a little bit. I'll come back out here one more time, hose it off, and then I think we're going to start trying to roll some material on there. Starting to get on there. It's not looking too bad. Stuff is drying really fast. But I've done all I can reach from where that ladder is set, so we're going to move it on up a little bit and keep on going. Alright, so I need to get up there with a regular brush and finish out around stuff where I don't want it to be painted, but I've about got the first coat done for this entire side of the bus. I need to get back up on the ladder and do a little bit more, but I just took a break for a few minutes to go cool off because it is really hot out here. Now, I'm not trimming out any of the edges or finishing anything out. It's just going to be a quick coat today because it's going to be really hot this week. At some point, we'll come out here and finish the rest of it, but... At least we're getting something up on the roof. All right, just got a little bit more on the front on this side, and this entire half of the bus is done. I don't know if I'm going to finish this today, though. It's up to 90 out here already, and standing up on top of the ladder in the sun is not that fun. So I might start on the other side some. I'll be in a little bit of shade for the front part of it, but not all of it. But uh, I might continue more of this tomorrow, start in the morning. Try to get it knocked out before it gets too hot. It says to allow 24 hours between, uh, at least 24 hours between coatings, and it says to put two coats on. So I'm not worried about being able to roll into this with other stuff if it dries till tomorrow. But I think we'll go a little further today, and then we're probably going to call it because it's just it's too damn hot. And that's where we're going to call it today. It's too freaking hot out here. Went ahead and went down the side here. 
got everything I can get from the ground with a roller. But I went inside and I actually noticed a huge difference on my ceiling. I'll have to see about maybe later going to grab my infrared thermometer. I came outside to grab it out of my truck, but it's in my tool cart in the shop. But easily a 20 degree difference of what I can feel touching my metal ceiling on one side versus the other. So it's going to make a big difference. I'm pretty happy about that. And then tomorrow, hopefully we'll get a second coat on it or maybe start the second coat. I only have one more gallon. I used one gallon to this point. I only bought two when I was at the store, so... We'll go as far as we can with one more gallon tomorrow. And then uh, at some point we will go get some more and do a nice final coat, make sure it's all uniform looking and stuff. But for right now, this is just preparing because it's going to be over 100 next week and I'm tired of my ceiling being an oven. Sunday morning. It's like 8 o'clock. We actually just got it to the point where... I can get out here and get to work. I was waiting for the sun to come up a little bit and for it to get a little warmer out. But I don't have all day today. Um, I have a podcast to record a couple hours. So I'll have enough time here where I should be able to uh, get probably about a half gallon of this. We'll finish up my entire roof, so I'll leave the rest for when we go to do the second coat. But I'll try to hurry up and at least get the first rough coat over everything today before I have to take off. Well, there we go. The entire first coat is on. So I didn't trim out around stuff like this because that's going to be painted body color. That's going to be body color. These drip rails are probably going to get done in that coating. But I wanted to leave room around everything to make sure that I wouldn't have an issue taping off because I've never tried putting painter's tape on like a silicone roof coating. But I was afraid it might not stick. So I grabbed my clearance lights and everything. I left a nice gap. I'll come back and finish that in when I do the second coat on the roof which I don't know when we're going to get to the second coat. It's going to be hot for a while. I'll have to get it done before I put my solar panels up, but I at least need to get up there first and paint all my clearance lights and like the center section right up there. Get all that stuff taped, painted, <clears throat> and ready to go. And then uh, start moving on. Paint shouldn't take too long on this, but it's just it's going to be way too hot for the next couple weeks here to mess with it. It'll probably be end of summer before I get around to painting the whole thing, but I might get the top stuff done so I can finish the roof coating on the second coat. I've only got like half a gallon left, so I'll have to go grab some more this week. I'll make sure they have it and keep it sitting around. So as soon as we have another nice day, we'll get up there and roll it.